morning. Johnny Sunshine. It's uh, quarter past nine on the 23rd of April. Johnny's heading out to work. I got a 50 gallon medium water heater on my truck. Uh, should be an easy one. Hopefully. It, it usually never is. And I, I just hearken back to the old saying if it was easy, everyone would do it. So, you know, the shit that I get. It's beyond anything that uh, a homeowner is going to deal with. So that's just my lot in life and most plumbers. Uh, this lady said, yeah, everything's good. You know, just she's going to leave me the key to get into the garage. But she was very sketchy. Uh, didn't have a cell phone. Couldn't send me pictures. Was worried about paying me. Uh, she's at work. I got to go there by myself with nobody in the house uh, And I'm like listen lady you're worried. I said I'm the one who's going to somebody's house who uh, You know Doesn't have like normal shit to, to pay me. I said, you know, you can sell me. I said I will uh, I'll send you a picture before and after the water heater installed and she said well, I don't have a cell phone. I'm like well is this lady trying to rip me off? Uh, I hope not. Anyways, I'm going to put this heater in. Another day in the life of a plumbing... Plumbing plumber. Uh, traffic's crazy. Gas prices are all over the place. I just went to get gas. They had a problem with their... Uh, gas lines there was a leak somewhere unfortunately for me the only gas they have is super unleaded four dollars a gallon uh just you know getting fucked every, everywhere we go yeah she's a leaker So this lady called me up. She said, you got your stickers all over everything. Ah, uh, yeah, this thing's been leaking for a while. It is a 2013. She said it was a 2001. I don't remember being at this house, but it's definitely my heater. I put this in for sure. And I want to show you the condition of these inside of, of these fittings uh, and show you how these brass fittings on these dielectric nipples uh, you get no corrosion whatsoever. Uh, I am going to cut, cut this, put a new ball valve on here uh, and go from here. This, this is a good valve. It's not going to be an issue but I told her I was going to replace it, so I'm going to replace it. Uh, this lady is a little bit of a hoarder. She's got shit everywhere. Unfortunately, when I got here, I rang the bell, and I had the shit. It's terrible, man. It's fucking terrible. You have no idea the pain. The pain of being me. Okie doker. Another water heater. Let me get this water turned off. And uh, start the process. It's five past ten. Let's see. All right, guys, so she's this house has a a water softener on it and a bunch of shit that I just don't even want to get close to, to be honest with you. Uh, they've eliminated the main shutoff uh, down on the copper coming up out of the ground and went with these cheap PVC valves, so just to avoid any issues of valve breaking 
I'm gonna shut this backflow down. This goes to the house. It's not on the irrigation. You can see that this relief valve is on there. Uh, and that's why you don't need a pressure tank on the uh, backflow. But it says PVC going in here. It's kind of a mess. I mean, that shit, PVC, exposed to the sunlight, not painted, uh, not good. So I'm going to try to shut this off. I always shut the discharge off on an RP, reduce pressure, because you want to maintain pressure across this backflow. If you don't, if you turn it off here, this relief is going to open and uh, you may end up having to rebuild the whole valve before you get out of here because it's dripping. So always turn it off on the discharge. Uh, the discharge ball valve on an RP. On a double check, it don't matter which one you turn off. Said hello to my little friend. <laughs> this guy's petrified. He don't look too good. Alright guys. Water's off. Hopefully this guy's gonna start pumping. She's flowing. All right, guys, so I've got this thing pumped down. This is going to be probably the easiest uh, water heater I've ever replaced. I was going to replace the ball valve, but uh, I mean, it's it's only 10 years old and it's in perfect condition. This shark bite, uh, I told her I'd need to re I'd replace it if it needed to be replaced. But yeah, this house originally had copper in it, and uh, I did this with CPVC. Uh, I could tell my buddy Sergey, the guy who worked for me, uh, was here because he'd twist the living shit out of these wires. Uh, crazy. See all this? He'd do that on every water heater. There's no fucking need for it, man. No need. Crazy guy. Alright guys, so it's a ream to ream. You don't get any easier than this. But I'll do my best to struggle with it. Uh, you know, that's what Johnny does. Johnny does, that's what Johnny does.
Ia. So this lady's got a pretty nice Corvette in the, in the yard that she never drives. Convertible, beautiful color. And she's old. She's still working. Must have been her husband's. You didn't even give me a chance to burn the house down. That's right. We like to knock it out early. Just Fucking Christ, you guys are really proactive. <laughs> yeah. You're like, we hear there's a plumber out there. If you want to go burn it down, you can have about 10 minutes. We're on inside. All right. What are you guys doing? Just testing it or you just... Yeah, we're just testing the flows. Make sure we got enough pressure. If, does if that we... thing, what do you do? That Does that tear up all the grass when you turn that thing on? No. No, we're flowing this one where te we test every other one. Okay. So when we do, we have a we have an elbow and a, and a pipe on the end oh, to direct okay. the water where we want it to go. And then it has a measuring device inside the tube. Nice. Then we can measure the pressure, how much extra pressure, static pressure we have, and then can the I, I, I really, hey guys, I need to admit something to you, man, that I've, I've never told anybody. Oh God, here we go. What's, what's When the... I was a kid, I lived in the city, man, and I used to open them fire hydrants so we could go swimming all the time, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I even went to the trouble. I went, well, it don't happen down here, but I'm from Rhode in, Island. In the city, in the yeah. big cities of North Wow, look at that. Yeah, so I went through the trouble of that cap. I was just a kid, 10, 11 years old. I went to the hardware store, bought a drill, drilled a bunch of holes in it so we could save water, spray it out oh, over water. the street, and, uh, Fire department came, took my cap, and turned it off. Yeah. Anyways, I feel better, sense. man. I feel better admitting to my crimes. No, it's okay. I figure the you statute, statute of, limit of limitations on that anyway. I'm thinking that's the only reason I told you. Hi, my friend. Have a good day. Yeah, you too, man. That was easy, huh? Three man evolution. Yeah, you. Yeah. Oh, come on. Come on. It's just a struggle out here, guys. You have no fucking idea how much fun this is trying to get these videos up some days. You know? It's just a fucking nightmare.
with all this inferior shit. I need a camera crew, man. I need a camera crew. All right, guys, I'm gonna pull the, the female adapters off the top of this heater, and uh, we'll all take a look at the same time to see if there's any corrosion in there. side looks good cold side not so much that's the cold got a little bit of crust in it this is the hot very clean the top of the heater on the cold side is pretty nasty Hot side, not so much. So guys, the reason I got this water heating job is because of those stickers right there. Which I'm going to put a couple more on here. And uh, go from there. Sweep that floor. Scooby dooby dee. Ski dooby dee 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 dee. Ski booby dee 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 dee. Ski pa pa do pa pa pa. Ski be dee be dee pa pa. Yabba dabba do. Johnny's coming to you live. It's Tuesday morning. Wonder what it's like to have a, a pretty skate job, you know? I mean those firemen, not that they're lazy or anything, it's a terrible it's a tough it can be a really, really tough job, but uh I bet you the vast, vast majority of their days are pretty fucking easy. That's all I can say. Oh, Johnny's struggling. I ha haven't heard much out of uh, at Mark HVAC lately. He probably took my advice and read that Teddy Roosevelt letter or piece in the arena or the critic, whatever the fuck it's called. And uh, maybe he's changed his ways, man. Maybe. Just maybe. We'll see. So I need two couplings, a street 45 and a 90. Let's see if I got three couplings. I do. Got bada bing and some glue. Glue, yeah, yo. Yeah. Man, one of these.
these days, Johnny's going down. Johnny's going down for the cat. Heaters, man. If Johnny done after doing this, I make my quota for the day early. Go fuck home, Jackson. My work. Bada bing, bada boom. <coughs> Better put my shades on, Jackson. Oh, shady plum. It really was so much easier to be a boss. And just, you know, like yell out fucking orders. Hey, get me that. Get me that. Scooby dooby dee. You guys is make sure this water I mean this power is gonna hook up oh. reamed a ream she got reamed once might as well get reamed again yeah y'all That black fireman, he was like, what in the fuck is this crazy motherfucker going to say to us now? Yeah. Fucking Sergey. Fucking dope. Ah, oh, you got to twist a weapon shit out of that. Wonderful. Wah, bah, 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 bah. 
Quiero venir y... So what's going on with Donald? I heard he's been farting a lot. Donnie farts a lot too. <laughs> Donnie's been stinking the place up from what I hear. Yeah. Fucking nasty fucking goddamn Big Mac farts. Quarter pounder with cheese farts. <sighs> Guy lives on McDonald's, man. You know that shit's got to affect your fucking brain. Donnie Dumper. Donnie the Dumper. See this, guys? There is nothing wrong with those connections. Garen fucking teed. Guys, if you ever need another screw, just take one of these. They give you extras. Yeah, it's really nice of them to do that. coming out of the house and I've been sneezing like six fucking times. Crazy. Bloody hell. It's like bloody hell. Go away, do be me. You know, there's thousands of these houses out here with CPVC in it, guys. I mean, literally. <laughs> if it takes you an hour to put the fucking heater in, you're, you're fucking doing something wrong, Jackson. If I've got a water heater that's rocking really bad, uh, I put a, uh, I use uh, 
stud guards. You can buy stud guards fairly cheap. You know, you're not going to use them. They are expensive, but you're not going to use a lot of them. That's what I use. Uh, chunky that was chunky let me put this in here so I can turn it where I need it sometimes these street fittings can be a bear to roll them you know so you want to put put the fitting the pipe in first and then you can trim the pipe up, which is just going to be there. Another coupling is what I need. I put a little pitch. Pitch it down so it runs out. No biggie. No fucking biggie. Excuse me. So the last thing I need to do before I leave here is make sure that there are no ass tracks in that fucking toilet in that house, man. You know. I wouldn't typically go into somebody's house that was not here. But man, I mean, you gotta fucking go, bro. You got to go. And I'm sure they'd understand. I mean, it's one of those things. It's like an international language, you know. They look at you and they shake their head like, oh, I know what the problem is. Oh yeah, I've been there. Mr. Chin shit the pants too. Yeah. All right, guys, I need to let this shit set up for 24 hours. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow to turn the water on. Alright guys. One hour later. New water heater installed. All the shit's loaded up. need to put that tools back in the side of the truck and I'm down the road Jackson let me open up this uh, laundry tub in here Let this fill up. The final and most important thing make sure they call you next time. Put this in a conspicuous place. Kind of a shitty job. Practice that.
All right. No doubt who put that in. She thought it was littered with my my shit before. She's full. All right, guys, we're all set here. I'm gonna turn the power on. Wanna listen? Never fucking fail. There's either a guy outside with a weed whacker, a garbage truck. Ugh. <coughs> Live in a noisy fucking world, guys. Listen to this shit. I'm gonna sit out there for ten fucking minutes now. Can't hear it. Can't hear it because of this fucking garbage truck. She's cooking. Hey guys, so I'm all done here on this water heater. Uh, it was as simple as they come. Uh, access was not bad, besides this beautiful Corvette that never gets driven, sitting in the uh, driveway. Pretty badass color, man, I like that. I like that car, man. Uh, anyways, so, <clears throat> my invoices I have two copies. I keep one, and then I have two additional copies. And what I do on water heaters is I, I put a copy in the warranty package on the heater in case this house gets sold. Uh, they know who installed it, and uh, any issues, they can call me. Nine times out of ten, I'm not going to get a call because something's not working. I'm going to get a call because they need a new one. Uh, so I make sure I put stickers on the water heater. And I left a uh, an invoice for the homeowner for her books. And uh, that's it, man. I'm all done. It's 1130. Uh, and uh, that was an easy one. Uh, I'm not feeling very good today. Uh, I think I'm totally dehydrated. I need to get some good stuff in me. Uh, so that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said on the be in the beginning, a lot of you guys have never seen CPVC before. Well, come to Florida. That's all you'll see. Uh... So it makes replacing water heaters pretty easy. Snip, snip, coupling, coupling, and uh, the new one's in. I mean, I could cut my price drastically and do 10 of these a day and, and still make a killing, but who wants to work that hard? Not Johnny. 
Johnny can't work that hard. Alright guys, have a great day. Hey. Guys, I've been sitting in a fucking Circle K for 45 minutes. I'm ready to fall asleep. And uh, this lady, look at this. See that Jeep over there, that yellow one? Watch. See that green Jeep? This lady comes out, she looks like fucking Jungle Jane, blonde hair, and some crazy fucking outfit, and uh, she got a fucking case of beer in her hands, man, and I don't even drink, and I'm looking at her putting it in the back of her Jeep, and I'm like, I can't pass this one up, I pull up, I beep the horn, she looks at me, I said, hey, you need help drinking that, and she says, <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> I can smell the fucking tobacco breath from inside my truck, man. Johnny having fun everywhere he goes, man. That made her day and mine. She's going home to get fucking saucy.